Hello, this is JBig Ticket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a 3.5 inch SATA drive into a Precision T7910 workstation. And what's important to note on this system is you do have what's called an LSI uh, ray controller that you'll be using. This doesn't plug into a regular SATA port. Um, so let's go to the install here. We've got a drive tray that should come standard with the system. There's four of these little prongs that you need to mount your three and a half inch drive into. And here is our three and a half inch. It's a four terabyte SATA drive. So I'm just showing you where they'll actually mount. Um, as you can see, we're, we'll point to where they mount. But sometimes the, uh, the tray, uh, the little prong pieces, here, here, and here, and here. Sometimes they're mounted in different spots to accommodate solid state drives. You may have to move them to these slots to install your three and a half inch drive. All right, so there's our SATA connection. We want that to be mounted out the top so that it connects to the back plane. So it's on the opposite side of the, the clip on the front. So I'm only gonna install this halfway. This is what it should look like when it's done but <clears throat> let's go back to that so that's what it should look like when it's done you shimmy one side in and then you squeeze the plastic so that all four of those little pins are mounted properly if you don't do that it won't install properly and you'll know right away it'll get stuck when you install it so let's con let's continue on here so to access the drive cage uh, we have to remove this front bezel piece and there's a little thumb piece press it down it should open up really easily. And as you can see, we have four slots, zero, one, two, three. We're gonna install this drive into slot zero. All right, so we saw that that SATA connection was on the top right, so that's how we'll line our drive up. And we'll slide it right in to the chassis. And this should go in very easily. Pull your plastic clip out because that's how you're going to lock it in. And once you feel like it's in there, go ahead and lock it in. You should see, we'll go back a little bit. You should see it grab this little clip right here. Okay. If it doesn't grab that, it probably needs to be reseated inside that tray. But if it does that, it should show up in the F2 setup and post and obviously the LSI controller when we boot it up. All right, so at that point, go ahead and put your bezel piece back on and you're ready to plug it in. Oh, be careful not to push that opt optional optical plastic in. I accidentally pushed it in and we'll go ahead and fix it. Everything looks good now. Okay, so this is that LSI controller that I was telling you about. You wanna make sure it's enabled because that port zero is controlled by that LSI controller. So this is the F2 setup. You can go into control C here. Um, let's pause this for a second. So control C will prompt you to and bring you inside the RAID controller. That's if you want to create like a RAID 0, 1, or 10 if you have more than one drive. Technically, you could do a RAID 0. In our case, we're not going to do that. We're just going to let the RAID controller see it. We're going to do zero RAID configuration and then just you know install Windows 10 Pro on it. So we can see our drive right here. It's a four terabyte. It actually th shows up as 3.638 terabyte. There's our model. And so everything is working properly so far. Like I said, we're not gonna go into the RAID controller. Uh, if you do wanna make a RAID zero, go into the RAID controller. We have another video that shows you how to create the RAID. Um, you can check that out on our other videos. Um, so here's the F2 setup. We're just going in to make sure the drive is showing up properly. So we'll go into the boot sequence and we're seeing it is a LUN. We're going to go ahead and set that up as the second boot device because we're going to boot to the DVD-RW with our uh, Windows 10 Pro DVD. Right, we're doing legacy boot. Uh, you can change that to UEFI if you want. We prefer legacy. The SAS controller is enabled, as we already saw in post. And under drives, SAS drive zero. Well, let's, go. let's go back to that. SAS drive zero. We can see our four terabyte drive is there. Okay. SATA operations doesn't really matter because that's only controlling our optical drive right now. So we can go ahead and exit out. Now we're gonna fast forward 
pass loading Windows 10 because that takes quite a bit of time. Our drive showed up right away in Windows 10, um, you know, in the load manager. So we've loaded it, no partition. So this is what it looks like in Windows 10 in the device manager. Unfortunately, we haven't loaded other drivers yet, but that's not what we're working on for this. All right, so there under disk drives, we see a, our four terabyte drive um, and everything is, is working perfectly. That's exactly what we want to see. So that's, a, that's about it. Um, if you have additional questions um, or have want other ideas on how to modify, upgrade a Precision T7910 workstation, um, you should definitely check out um, greenpcagamers.com. Uh, here it is right here. And if you, if you would like, go to the blog and click on the Precision T7910. It may be hidden throughout here depending on what, when you watch this video. Just search T7910, it'll pop up, or whatever model system you have. And you can go on here for awesome processor upgrade ideas, memory ideas, configurations, NVMe drive installs, you know, a whole bunch of different content, uh, graphics cards, sample configs. Um, definitely check out this page. If we haven't uh, covered the topic that you want, Go ahead and click on suggested topic. You know, review our review our page. You know, check it out. Just go through the whole thing. Um, it has a lot of content. It's completely free. All right. So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have live questions, feel free to follow my handle on Twitch, um, as you can see down the screen here. Uh, thanks again for watching.